Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Knowledge Channel. Uh, today's topic is creating formulae in Minitab and also Minitab basic functions and analysis. Stay tuned uh, till the end. You will get amazing information and it will be super quick. How you do? You can create a formula in uh, Excel the same way we can do it uh, Minitab in much faster much efficient and much accurate way so please stay tuned till the end so let me directly take you to many tab so here i have a data set so the data set first of all in the many tab many tab uh, identify this is called row zero so that means you, you not have anything called one, two, three. So it's called row zero. And then you have a different things uh, labeling uh, the scheming given by uh, many tab. For example, if you see here, D, D meaning like it, it mean like it's a day or it all month and all that. If you do, if it will identify the many tab identifies as a D. And then this is C2 as identified as a, since it's a variables, it identifies with no tag that means it's a variable completely we have variable so defective you have variables defects you have variable that means c2 c4 c5 everything you have a data and then commit you have d since it has a d uh, so many tab identifies as a date as a d and actual also carry some date so it has d so that is how many tab uh, identifies it for example let's say one great thing what i like in mini tab is let's say if you're trying to feed some test value it will not accept so that means this column is being reserved for date and so on so it will not accept the similar way let's say in this column the variable column here i'm trying to feed some tests it will not accept so that is one great thing which i really like in mini tab so now in this case, the, I have uh, columns such as month, uh, total quantity, a uh, total quantity produced, defective, defects, opportunity, comments I have, and actual I have. So I need to find out what is mean, median, sum, standard deviation, variances, DPMO, and uh, minimum, uh, you know, minimum quantity of uh, defects and maximum range and so on. So let's do how to do that. So first you go to me in the open up the mini tab, uh, go to calculate and you have a calculator. So open up the calculator and then you, it will ask like where you would like to store the result, store result in variable. Let's say we're going to find out mean. So I'm going to store the result in mean. What is the expression? So mean, you know that the average, right? You can write down the, you can search for average or mean. So you got mean, right? So that means you can select here. So it will give the syntax. The expression will, out, when you select this using the select options, expression will open up. So mean number. So this number, you can feed it. You can either, either feed it manually or you, you can take uh, leverage of uh, uh, you know the the columns what you have so here i'm going to feed quantity total quantity so i would like to find out the mean of total quantity produced so i just select yes so it became mean of total produced give assign this formula and give okay so here it says like one two two uh, one thousand uh, 221.83 let's find out median so when you find the tick mark that indicates that formula that column contains a formula okay and let's say we'll do the same thing for median go to calculator pick up the calculator and then if you give f3 that means all the information which is stored will get deleted out so let me because i'm going to go with the another function so i will give f3 it will go off all the information will, it will be brand new now so where i wanted to store i wanted to store in median i wanted to find what is the median point for this 
let's go to median so median i select and it asks for number so maybe again total quantity i wanted to find out the median just say this one assign this formula give okay so you got the median point as 1070 let's do a sum i want to find out the sum of this whole thing go to calculator pick up the calculator and then give f3 that means it will delete it off and then you can give sum and this okay and then pick up this one it gives the number delete off total quantity just select this one now the expression became okay i'm just giving assign the formula and give okay so i need to it, it is asking like for the store so what i wanted to store sum select this one and give okay so total quantity produced is 14662 so i wanted to find out the standard deviation yeah so go to go to calculator pick up the calculator uh, and give f3 so that it will get deleted off and uh, maybe standard deviation i want to find and then you can find here standard deviation yeah and then it asks for the number for what you would like to stand it so i will select the same thing and the, the syntax is perfect assign as a formula and give okay so the standard deviation is 371 so i wanted to find out the variance the same thing so you can go to the calculator pick up this one and i this is something variance you have and you can manually also delete pick up the variances r square root of and the number is total quantity produced select this one and give okay and you have the variances coming for all these value and you wanted to find out the dpmo dpmo formula you know uh, you can go to start I mean you can go to calculator and give f3 it will get deleted off and you wanted to find out dpmo defect per million opportunity and uh, the expression now we get, we are going to go with multiple expressions you you remember the formula number of quantity fail quantity so i have something called defectives select the defectives that should multiply it with 1 million so i'm going to add six zeros 1 2 3 4 5 60 so that became 1 million and by you have something called number of quantity produce and into and how much total opportunities or ctqs you have give okay assign as a formula give okay so it 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 gives roll out for all the things and even if you change it it will get changed here let's say i'm changing uh, my opportunities are my uh, defectives instead of 10 i'm going to giving 12 so you see that the formula automatically dpmo got updated let's find out the mean min value so simple very simple go to calculator and pick up from the calculator give f3 so that all information will get uh, deleted off new page will get open so maybe i will give min 1 so min of so the expression is min you can take the min minimum okay and uh, what is the minimum quantity i produce so you can select this one and give okay so the minimum quantity from this is 980 right so what is the maximum value same formula so go to calculator and give f3 and you're going to find out the uh, max so here also i will search the expression called maximum and in sub number i will pick up from the column quantity 
you okay so here you can see at 2001 it, it picked up accurately the best part of mini tab is even if it is a 10 line item it takes the same amount even if you feed 10 million item it takes the same amount that's a speciality as far as the mini tab is concerned it takes the column value as one yeah so let's talk about the range range also you can just pick up range formula you know uh, the maximum minus minimum so two ways we can do because we found out max and min so uh, we, that way we can do or we can also assign through formula so go to calculator give f3 and then i would like to find out the range and you can give range you can search for range okay select this one so when you select the range syntax gets opened up so range i would like to find out for total produce similarly you can do it for defective or defects and other things i'm just uh, to explain one i'm just using one same column everywhere yeah assign this as a formula and then you can give so you can see here so one zero two one is the uh, range so i want, would like to find out the uh, in a percentage of everything so you can go to formula the i mean calculator go here and give f3 percentage of defect so that formula is number of defect queues you had divided by total quantity produced so the whole things should be multiplied with 100 right so 100 Assign this as formula and it gives all these things value here. Okay, and uh, maybe you can do the same thing for cumulative and so on. So, this is one way how we can leverage something called calculator feature. And other things you have a cool feature. So, this we have uh, you know manually found like what is a mean, what is a median, and other things. So, there are two ways you can find out. There is something in the start, you can go to start, you can go to basic statistic and you can go in the basic statistic, you have a display, descriptive statistic. All these statistics, uh, you can easily find it out. For example, let's say my variables are total quantity and uh, what are the statistics I want to find? Let's say I would like to find out all mean and standard deviation variations and trim value all minimum maximum range and everything give okay so here it gives everything so total number of point is 12 and percentage 100 and mean is 1 2 2 2 so that's what uh, the rounded up value we have got and and then standard deviation and uh, you have uh, how much uh, the deviation standard deviations manually if we found 371 the same one we got and the variances uh, we, we did it for the individual column individual data set and then you have everything here so the same thing uh, you can easily find it out let's say i wanted to find out similar one for defective so you can just pick it up select this variable give okay you will have everything so how much dual, dual data point and then you have a mean is 9.33 exam uh, and uh, you have a standard deviation 2.34 and so on and you also have something called uh, you know defectives how much variables i mean what is the minimum what is the maximum what is the quartile q1 q2 q2 uh, q3 and so on and uh, in, in upcoming video i will be talking about quartile uh, and decetile and percentile so stay tuned on that so similarly you can find out anything if you wanted to basic functions if you wanted to find out there are two ways one you can go to start and pick up from the basic uh, descriptions and let's say i wanted to find out also total quantity you can just do that and give okay and within a second 
the values will get popped up. So similarly like this. So maybe I'll make it a little bigger. So this is one way of finding out. Okay, let's say another way is you can go to calculate itself, you can go to column statistic and you can ask for, okay, input variables is let's say total quantity. You, and if you wanted to store anything, you can store otherwise it will display on the screen. And you can ask for everything like mean, standard deviation or anything you can do and you can also do the same thing so minimum is 980 so there are many ways we can easily play around and uh, get this uh, one the so one fascinating uh, feature about mini tab is it is very fast and we can do anything for example let's say i'm adjusting the value i wanted to find out uh, what is the commit date and actual date how much the aging days let's say i wanted to find out the aging days let me just edit the file and then i'm giving aging so go to calculator and pick up the calculator give f3 and i wanted to find out the weight uh, so commit date so how much uh, the aging is there so let's say actual is actual okay you wanted to, may first thing it will ask like where you wanted to store you wanted to store the result in aging okay and the expression is actual minus you have something called commit you can also uh, similarly how you do it in uh, minitab you can also uh, i mean excel you can similarly you can do it in minitab so assign as a formula and everything will come up so this means so my actual uh, the commit was on 15 Jan, but I completed on 14 Jan. That means I was one day ahead of the time. And in this case, uh, so similarly you can find out for all. In this case, two days ahead, and in days one day aging. That means commit date was uh, 6:15, but I completed uh, one, I completed on 16. So one day uh, ahead. So everything you can easily find it out using a uh, mini tab much faster much uh, as i said uh, just before a while it takes the same amount of time even though you have the, the 12 data set or uh, you have 12 million data set the amount of time it takes is the same thing so hope you like this uh, stay tuned for the further uh, interesting information on mini tab and six sigma have a nice day ahead